what do you think we should do in order to get ready for sleep? Well, it's very hard to do so nowadays, especially if you're having some issues with insomnia or sleep in general because of all the stressors that we go through on the daily. And, you know, people usually don't have the time to do anything. And then when they get to bed and they literally, you know, hit the pillow, that's when all the thoughts come in. And that's when you actually have the time to start thinking about your day and other problems. And that's why usually people can't sleep uh, because their mind starts racing and they just get very anxious and that's the the biggest problem. The longer that starts happening, the longer your own hormones start to change. So you're not producing enough melatonin, which in turn doesn't make you fall asleep. Even though you're sleepy, even though you're yawning, it's very hard to fall asleep. Uh, for some people like me, um, I used to have a big problem of waking up in the middle of the night to, I don't know, go to the bathroom or take some water. And then I couldn't fall back asleep. So that was my big problem. And um, it was happening throughout my whole life because for some reason, when I'm awake and I'm alert, my melatonin drops significantly and my adrenaline just jumps and then it's impossible to fall back asleep. So I tried everything from uh, acupuncture to taking melatonin to taking 5-HTP to you know, everything from lavender essential oils and everything and nothing worked basically. So the only thing that really helped was purposely trying to calm my brain down, which sometimes is worse because you're trying to fall asleep so hard that you're stressing yourself out more by trying to fall asleep. So I know that meditation is a great tool and it helps a lot of people that I know of and a lot of my friends, CBD oil, is what a lot of people use. For me personally, didn't help at all. But like I said, everybody's different. Um, then, you know, one of the most important things to do before bed is literally relax everything. So you can't go and jump around and then get into bed. And, you know, like take away your computer and don't watch TV right before bed. But it's so hard to do that today because people unwind and relax by watching Netflix and other things and then they fall asleep while they're watching them or immediately go to bed. So it's very hard to be away from any any electronic <laughs> right before you're going to sleep. But it's generally a problem for a lot of people if they are consumed by their phones or their laptops or their TVs, then when they get into bed, they really can't fall asleep because the blue light is actually uh, blocking their melatonin from being released. And that there are a million studies that, that talk about it. So one of the biggest things that I would say to someone who is having issues sleeping is to try to step away from electronics and see if it'll work. Because for some people it doesn't, it doesn't change anything, but it might. So that's number one, uh, try not to eat anything heavy before bed. So at least a couple hours. Of course, don't drink coffee. <laughs> but you know, some people probably don't know that drinking a uh, cappuccino that they love that has caffeine in it uh, at 8pm, which is their ritual of some sorts can actually mess with their sleep. And although it might sound like normal to me and you, there are a lot of people who don't know that. So I think it's important to, to say that even though we might think that it's, you know, redundant. Um, then also trying not to drink too much water or any type of liquid before bed, because it'll make you have to go to the bathroom immediately <laughs> once you fall asleep and you'll wake up. Maybe take a warm bath or a warm shower, which will help you relax. So anything that actually you know will help you relax, whatever that is. Maybe some light stretching or rolling, like foam rolling. There are a lot of things that you can try if you're having issues falling asleep. But if you tried all of it and it still doesn't work, then there are other things like taking melatonin or 5-HTP or GABA, um, some supplements that can actually help you and a valerian root or chamomile tea. So there are a lot of things that can you know, be the next step, but I don't recommend that as a first step for someone who is having issues with sleeping. So that's like level two after you tried everything.